When you want to do motion blur in 3ds Max, there are two things you have to do. First, you have to animate the car or the object you want to put in motion blur. And second, you have to set the camera to actually show the motion blur. So this is the scene we are going to be using and I'll be using this car to show you how to easily create motion blur in 3ds Max. So first, we are going to animate this car and you don't need any knowledge of animation to be able to do that, all right? Just, just follow me and do as I do, okay? Put it on set key and then click on add keyframe. Then you move the car or maybe you have to move the, the, the time slider first because you okay, can see as I move the time, move the car back to the position where it was before. So move the time slider first to wherever you want it. Let's say the 10th frame. Okay. Just select it and drag it into position. The 10th, let's use the 10th frame. And then you now move the car to where you want it to be. Now when you move it, you add the keyframe again. All right. So now when I move the slider, you're going to see the car is going to be where they're supposed to be at that particular point in time. Then I will turn off the set key. All right. Okay. You can see it's working out very fine. Now let's go and work on our camera. I'm going to select the camera for this particular view. Okay. Just click there and then select camera. Okay. I'm selecting the camera showing this particular view now. All right. So in the depth of field and motion blur, I'm going to turn on this geometry. All right. That's all you need to do for there. Okay, so I'm just going to make this thing big now and I'm going to do interactive rendering. Let's wait for it to come out. All right. You can see you're not seeing anything at the moment. That is because the car is still at point zero. The time frame, the time slider is still at, at point zero. All you have to do is to move that time slider a little bit to when the car is in motion. You can move the slider manually or you can just right click and go to a particular time where your cursor is, okay? Now put it in two. Now let's do interactive render again. And you can see the motion blur showing, all right? Okay. So depending on where the time slider is on the timeline, that will determine how fast this car is going to look. If I say, okay, let me take it to um, the eighth frame, I'm going to see the car looking as if it's going to run into the wall. Okay. And this is because the distance the car is supposed to move and the time that it has to move to that um, distance is very, very small. So it means the car has to be very fast to be able to get to that point. All right. If you want to solve this, is it that you move your keyframe back on the timeline? Okay. Move it to like the hundredth frame on the timeline or you shorten the distance of that car. Okay. But because I want you to notice this um, motion blur, I'm going to just leave it the way it is. All right. I'm going to keep it at two and then we're going to continue from here. All right. You can give it a three, you can give it whatever you want. When the render updates, when the interactive render updates, you are going to see the car will be at a very top speed. <laughs> like it's about to like run over the fence or something. But then you get the idea. Is it that you shorten the distance the car has to go or you make the time that the car has to go get to where it is getting to very long? All right, like we did before when we set the frame. All you have to do now is just take your keyframe to the hundredth frame in the timeline and then set it there. Okay, if you do it like that, the car is going to move it to be moving slowly. So if you want to remove this keyframe back, all you have to do is select the car. All right, right click on that keyframe, go to delete key and then click on delete all. That is going to get rid of all the, the animation and everything. Then we can right click on this one too go to delete key and then click on delete all now you can move your car back to the position where you want it to be and that's just it all right i had to undo okay to take it back all right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a like and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing not only subscribing ring the notification bell so you get notified each time i drop a new video on this channel consider joining the channel membership that way you help sponsor this channel and help me create more valuable content like this all right thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one